what's up guys it's me Snowsuke, and finally I'm gonna be talking a little bit about Storm 3 I haven't done this uh, for quite a few months I think the last time I actually talked about Storm 3 in a video um, was when I did that dual commentary with Obito X Gohan and this that was like a five-part discussion originally we were talking about doing another one but um, we just didn't get around doing to doing it and I figured you know what I'm just gonna do my own brief little discussion and talk to you guys about Storm 3 um, we've been getting a ton of information. I haven't really uploaded any scans and trailers and stuff just because, well, I was getting the information um, from other YouTubers like, you know, ps 3 hg 362 King Goken, Sun9191, other people who were posting all this information. And because I don't like really posting the same shit as everybody else, I just didn't upload it because I knew, you know, most of you guys probably got that information from them. And some of you guys I've talked to, you know, on Skype and all that good stuff, and we've already talked about that information. So, I just didn't see any point in uploading it, um, but I did want to do a discussion. I uh, really want to know what are you guys really hyped for for Storm 3, character-wise, uh, gameplay mode-wise, and all that good stuff. I know for me, I'm really hyped for uh, QB mode Naruto, or the new KCM Naruto, even though he's probably going to be a little bit OP with his combos, you know, just like he is in Generations. Um, and I'm pretty excited for Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan Sasuke, or EMS Sasuke, obviously. Why? Because I fucking love Sasuke's moveset. Um, I just thought for generations the problem with him was, well, he could be a little, well, overpowered. Um, just in the respect of the way his combos worked, you could just really just, uh, not spam, but mash, circle, and you'd pretty much be good because if they charge from the side, rear, front, or whatever, they'd run right into the sword, which is kind of, you know, fucked up. <laughs> so, you know, I'm really excited for... For a lot of the characters in Storm 3, uh, we just got that scan with Edo, Tensei, Nagato, and Itachi, who, you know, I both want to play as both those characters. Um, we also got some stuff that showed the war arc Toby in action. We're not sure if that image in that scan is a jutsu, an ultimate, a combo finisher, whatever. But if that is a jutsu, it's probably going to be a bitch because if it's got tracking and basically follows you around for a little bit, um, those three tor tornado firewall things, then that's probably going to be a bitch and pretty spammable. Um, but who knows? We don't know what it is. We just kind of see it in an image. Um, and we also get to see in that scan of Edo Tensei, Nagato, and Itachi. It looks like Itachi's, uh, he throws the Mag Magtama or Magatamas. I can't think of, I can't remember the exact name. But it's like that little mini destructo disc looking thing that he throws with uh, the Susano. So it looks like he might have that as maybe a new ultimate or jutsu. But it looks like um, it's going to be you know part of the game. So that should be pretty cool. And we also have Nagato with the little cannon arm Mega Man looking thing. So that should be cool. It looks more like a grapple in my opinion than an ultimate. Uh, and I think that would be cooler to see as a grapple than an ultimate. But hey, you never know. Um... And what do you guys think? Do you guys think that they're going to give us more than one ultimate for different characters? Or are we going to be able to change out ultimates? Because some of these characters have so many possibilities for their ultimate techniques. Especially, for example, Naruto with all the damn versions of Rasengan, which I think they've done a good job of including now. Um, but you have, you know, Naruto's different Rasengans. You have the different abilities for Itachi with the uh, Suzano. You know, he could have different things like the Totsuka Blade still. He could still have the Sukuyomi or Sukuyomi Ultimate and all the good stuff. And Nagato, I mean, shit. Nagato, you have a potential for like seven different paths for his Ultimate since he has, you know, the seven, uh, I think it is seven. Yeah, seven paths of pain. So Nagato should be a pretty interesting character. Um, I really hope one thing that they could do with the DLC is some DLC Jutsu. Um, and just different things instead of just costumes. Uh, I'm pretty excited for the costumes, even though in North America they haven't said anything but the Goku costume, which everybody gets. Hopefully those costumes for the EU or Europe and Japan gets, you know, open up to everybody because that's kind of bullshit if only certain regions uh, get those costumes and it stays with them. But yeah, I'm really excited for Storm 3. There are a lot of different things that I want to do gameplay-wise. I already have a pre-order, so of course you guys are going to you know, see it on day one. I'll upload a couple fights. If you have you know, different fights that you would want to see uh, ASAP, post in the comment section below. Uh, obviously, if that character isn't unlocked till way later, like let's assume War Arc Toby, pretty sure he won't be locked till late, way, uh, way later in the game. So obviously I won't be doing any gameplay for him. Uh, on day one unless you know I can speed through the game some magical way <laughs> um, I'll probably stream it that day too so if you want to watch some story mode if you don't have the game yet I'll probably stream it um, and a lot of the stuff that I did on generations will carry through onto storm 3 I'm gonna still be doing tournaments assuming there is a tournament mode 
subscriber replays of the week, etc., etc. Uh, pretty soon, I will be done with Generations completely, as in I won't even be putting shit in my system anymore. That being said, the Generations tournament that I will be uploading on Friday will be the final Generations video I will be uploading. Um, so there won't be any more Generations, no more subscriber replays and all that good shit. Uh, so pretty much until Storm 3, I'm just really going to be uploading games um, like Storm, the first Storm game, I probably won't do any Storm 2 at all, but I'll definitely be uploading Storm 1 still, I'll be uploading Naruto Open Ninja 1, 2, and 4, so you'll still be getting all that good Naruto content, uh, just no more fucking generations. Um, like I said, kinda tired of it and all that stuff, and every, I don't know about you guys, but every time I play generations, I get a little depressed because I know what is coming for Storm 3, so it just makes it even harder to play. <laughs> If that makes any sense. Anyway guys, let me know in the comment section below what you are excited for for Storm 3. What you would like to see from the channel. What you would like to see from the game. Uh, and what kind of DLC would you be interested in seeing. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support. Keep doing what you do. I'm Snowsuke and I'm out. Peace.